was a very difficult process. There was 1,137 entries, uh, and then we culled it down to 200 semi-finalists and 30 finalists. So that was an enormous task, but very exciting. So many wonderful things and so many things worthy of being included. Very difficult to choose what to actually put in, but first and foremost, although it's a portrait, it has to work as a painting, and that means it has to work compositionally, colour, design, and so on. But then it has to have something beyond the banalities of just a mere likeness. It can't just look like someone. In fact, this prize, it doesn't have to be a painting of someone famous. They don't have to be famous, but you want to look at the painting and you want to wonder about the painting, you want to know what's going on, you want to be intrigued, and it needs to be something you want to keep returning to, something that sets up its own world and something that you want to keep looking at. So I wouldn't really say that there is any particular themes. In fact, the thing about this prize is it's truly national. There are entries from all over Australia. There are people of all ages and all stages of their career and really almost every kind of painting. I mean, there's a huge range. And I think if you come and see the exhibition here at Juniper Hall, you walk around and you'll say, there's that and there's that and there's that. They are all so different. Why are they all there? Well, as I said, they kind of set up their own world. They're, about, they're each about something different. But they all need to be something that bears more than one quick look at. Well, the highly commended by Dagmar Sar uh, Sarula is a beautifully painted self-portrait. Uh, it's very personal, it's her, so she's, she's revealing herself literally, it's semi-nude. But it's also obviously quite an introspective painting, it's about her own work and her own practice as an artist. Beautifully designed, beautifully painted, um, and very ambitious and, and really works. It really is a painter's painting in a way. And we don't always give a highly commended. There's always 30 finalists, but this year it was very difficult to choose, so that was right up there as a contender. But then we chose Tim Story as painting Luna Savon, and um, that is a, it's a painting that's both serious and also quite playful and teasing uh, about another artist, McLean Edwards, and about their friendship, and also about this kind of intelligent but rather crazy, wild, haunted character walking through a night landscape. But I would say that even if you don't know who any of those people are, you're interested in the painting, you're interested in the image, and that's the most important thing. There are tiny little weenie paintings which really are the size of a postcard, and then there is a size limit, but it's a very big size limit, it's just over two metres, so there really is a huge range of different sizes. Um, Again, it depends on what the painting's about. A tiny little painting might be about some little intimate moment, something where you have to walk up closely and look at and it kind of just relates directly to you. And a big one might be something which is much more grand, like the one, for example, that one highly commended, which although it is a self-portrait, it's a very large statement. It can be something that needs to be big, it can be something that needs to be small. But scale is actually a very interesting thing to look at, and it's one of the things that, if you look at the prize online, even though you can read the size, you can read this is 20 centimetres or this is 2 metres, it's not the same as physically standing there looking at it. This is by far the richest prize in Australia, it's 150000 and uh, all of the 30 finalists very generously get $1,000, which is fantastic. It's from the Moran Arts Foundation, which is so generous, it's really amazing. And it's in the wonderful historic Juniper Hall, which is a, a house from the 1820s. A lot of people don't realise it's that old. I mean, for Australian standards, that is ancient. It's a stunning house in Paddington and on Oxford Street, and it's on until December, so come and see it.